I'm going to take a MAC paint pot. This one is in soft ochre, and I'm going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to apply this to the lid, up to the brow bone. So first I'm going to use a really like creamy matte color and this one from the Naked 2 palette, um, Boxy, is one of my favorites. So I'm going to use this one and apply this to my brow bone. So now I'm going to take a cool tone of matte brown color and this is a light medium brown color. This one is Wedge by MAC, and I'm just going to take this on a big fluffy brush. So I'm going to apply this to the crease and bring it up a little bit. I don't want to put anything on the lid, so we're going to focus it more on the crease and bringing it up. So I like to start this way and bring it right directly into the crease, side to side. And then start swirling it. And then grab more product and do the same thing. So really what you want to do is kind of move it back and forth and then swirl it up. I'm going to go in with this color right here and this is a soft brown from MAC. We're going to apply this over wedge. Again using the same brush technique, so side to side and then up. Then I'm going to go in with Espresso from MAC and I'm going to apply this again to the crease but I'm going to leave this lower into the outer V to really smoke out that outer corner. Then I'm going to take Swiss Chocolate from MAC again and apply this to kind of the upper part of the eye right here to warm it up just a tad. And then I'm going to go in with Brown Down from MAC again and apply this to the outer view once again. Then going in with the blending brush, I'm just going to blend this out. And then from MAC, I'm going to take a shimmery base. This one is Bare Study, and I'm going to apply this to just the lid, so where we didn't apply any shadow. And keep it just on the lid. And then from MAC again, I'm going to use Ploof and apply this to the lid where we just applied the base with my finger. This gives a nice... Using your finger makes it a better... And then on the crease, I'm going to add just a little bit of black just to smoke it out just a tiny bit more. So just right here in the outer V.
then for the bottom lash line, I'm going to take brow down to MAC and apply this to the lash line. I'm going to leave the inner corner plain. And then take the ploof color that we use all over the lid and apply it to the inner corner and right of the tear duct. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. 